COVID-19 pandemic is some way off being over. While some countries are seeing the number of new infections fall, others are still experiencing a rise in cases. Many people are concerned there could be a second or third wave of the virus, bringing with it the loss of even more lives. But even if we do find a way to bring this disease under control, could other pandemics happen in the future? Diseases that spread across specific regions, populations or countries and continents are not new. The Spanish flu swept across the globe between 1918 and 1920, killing as many as 50 million people. In more recent times, the 21st century has also seen some serious outbreaks. SARS, swine flu, Ebola and Zika have all made international headlines and caused disruption to everyday lives, but not the level we're experiencing now. There are a few reasons why these outbreaks have happened, and without making changes, it may be hard to stop future epidemics and pandemics. It is suspected that the COVID-19 outbreak transferred from bats to humans through livestock sold in a wet market. That's a market that sells fresh fish and meat. It's also suspected that the SARS outbreak in 2002 also started in a wet market. Bats' unique immune systems allow coronaviruses to live inside them and mutate into new types that human immune systems aren't able to fight off. When the bats or their droppings come into contact with other animals, they can contract the disease and then pass it on to people. There have been calls for China to regulate these wet markets better and to stop the illegal trade of animals like pangolins, which can transfer disease between bats and humans. As many as 1.7 million unidentified viruses of the type known to infect people are believed to still exist in mammals and water birds. Any one of those could cause the next pandemic, potentially even more disruptive and lethal than COVID-19. The increasing global population and our growing cities mean that we are spreading into habitats, forcing more contact with animals that transmit these new diseases. And as more and more people live in cities, sometimes in cramped and very unclean conditions, is made easier for infections to spread quickly. The effects of climate change are also thought to be a factor in the way cases of certain diseases spread. Increasing temperatures and flooding means that the areas disease-spreading insects can live in will be larger and the season they are around for will be longer. A study published in 2019 found mosquito-borne diseases could reach an additional 1 billion people by 2080 if future global warming is extremely high. When combined with more people travelling internationally, growing inequality and rising pressures on health systems, these causes could lead to more outbreaks and an inability to control them. Some countries that have experienced serious epidemics before have responded much better to the coronavirus pandemic than they have to other disease outbreaks. South Korea learned their lessons from an outbreak of a very deadly new coronavirus called MERS in 2015 and were better prepared with diagnostic testing and case tracking this time around. Countries across Western Central Africa have had extensive experience dealing with Ebola in recent years, which has given them a greater understanding of epidemics than some richer countries and allowed them to respond quickly and decisively to this new disease. Recovering from the immediate crisis remains the focus around the world. But if we can learn from this terrible event, the effects that any future pandemic may have could be minimized. <laughs>